Hey guys, happy Tuesday. I hope you had a great Halloween with your family and um, hopefully are back on track today. If you're not, it's not a big deal because I'm gonna share with you how you can ditch the guilt and move on today with some simple, super, super, <laughs> super simple ways to get back on it. Thank you so much if you are catching me live and if you're watching the re uh, the replay, I can't talk today. The replay, I really appreciate it. Um, my name is Sarah Can. I am a certified personal trainer and nutritionist and I am passionate about empowering women to get strong and lead happy and healthy lives. And um, you can find me over at sarahcantraining.com and across social media under Sarah Can Training. So here's the thing, like, Yesterday happened, hopefully you enjoyed it, hopefully um, you didn't go overboard, but if you did, it's not a big deal. Um, you know, it's the first holiday of the fall, and so I'd love to hear how you did. Um, if you got thrown off over the weekend with um, parties and treats, if you missed workouts, um, I wanna share with you a few easy ways to just drop the guilt and move on. Um, so please share this out with with, um, friends who you think might find this information useful I'd really appreciate it um, so here's the thing in my past um, when I was dealing with um, some really disordered eating and exercise methods um, Halloween typically fell towards the end of my competition season um, typically I would finish my last season or my last show sometime in August or September and then I would go like crazy into October all the way through December and so my experience was um, that with Halloween I <laughs> would you know Jason and I were notorious for you know having a ton of cupcakes and cookies and all of that stuff and kind of you know casually grazing on those treats at like parties and then all of a sudden all the cupcakes are gone well it's because like I ate them or most of them, maybe not all of them. Um, and so instead of, and so what would happen was I would have those things, I would feel really bad about it, and then the next day I would spend, you know, a good hour of doing Stairmaster in sweatpants and that kind of stupid stuff. Um, and so I want to get ahead of that, and I don't want you to do that. So if those things happen to you this weekend, if you got crazy and just enjoyed time with your family and friends and maybe, you know, had um, more than what you had anticipated you'd have, um, I want you to try these tips instead um, to you know get back on it today um, or if it's been a few days some ways to get back on track so the first thing you're going to want to do today is to cut out all added or processed sugars um, and lower your salt and your fat intakes so um, super important if you are going to be eating um, packaged foods to make sure and read those labels look out for processed sugars um, try to eat as many um, um, whole minimally processed foods as possible. The second thing you're going to want to do is include good sources of protein and fiber. So again, think whole, meal, whole foods with every meal, um, which slows digestion um, and keeps your insulin happy. Um, happy, uh, happy insulin equals no cravings. Um, and the next thing, of course, super easy, workout. Make your workout happen. Um, exercise calms us down. Um, it suppresses stress hormones that cause those cravings for junk food to kind of go crazy. Um, so think about making sure that you get your workout in today. Um, this one is a tough one, especially for us busy moms, but get good sleep. Um, you know, at least seven to eight hours um, adequate sleep ensures our leptin, um, which is the hormone that tells us that we're full, um, and then another hormone, ghrelin, um, which tells us that we're hungry. Um, it ensures that those um, levels are maintained, um, which keeps, again, those cravings for junk food um, in check. So 
super, you know, it's hard to, to put into practice, but it's super easy if you can. Um, you know, it's super helpful for, for um, those hormone levels. Um, the next thing is get your water in. Um, I want you to aim for a gallon of water a day the rest of this week. Um, you know, thankfully it's cooling off, so you don't have to worry about much more than that. Obviously, if you do not currently drink that much water, please don't try to drown yourself in water today. Um, but just, I encourage you to at least drink the minimum required based on your weight. Um, there are a ton of calculators out there that can figure out how much water you should be intaking in a day. Um, and so you find that list and it'll easily estimate for you how much water you should be having. So water flushes out all of the excess salt, um, reduces bloating, and helps aid in digestion. So it'll help work through all of that um, yummy food that you may have had this weekend. So those are the things that you should do. And here's what I want you not to do. What doesn't work is fasting. Um, or I shouldn't say it doesn't work. I should say unplanned fasting does not work. Um, starving yourself does just that. It puts your body into starvation mode, which activates stress hormones and puts us in a state of inflammation. Um, it also disrupts um, your normal metabolism and minimizes caloric spending, which means your body's going to hold on to those energy stores because it thinks it's starving. Um, and so when we're minimizing the calories spent um, that equals more fat storage and just not a good idea in general and I also want you to skip the hour-long punishment cardio uh, cardio session like I said in sweatpants or a waist trainer oh these waist trainers um, this really sets yourself up for an unhealthy relationship with food and cardio um, you know you'll start to get that mentality of oh, I can eat six donuts and three slices of pizza and just do the Stairmaster for an hour. Do not start this game because I, from experience, along with many other women, you will not win. Um, you won't win in the long run. So I hope that these tips were helpful. Just think about today, um, cutting out all processed and added sugars, increasing your protein and your fiber intake today, Get your workout in, get good sleep tonight, drink a ton of water to flush out all of that excess salt and reduce bloating and um, help with digestion. And um, me, ah, my connection sucks. <laughs> If you guys have any questions, feel free to message me here on Facebook, or you can always email me, sarah at sarahcantraining.com. Oh, and I also wanted to put up, I have, if you need some tips to get back on track, you can download a copy of my free seven-day shred um, program from my website, and it includes um, workouts, um, a sample menu to um, really fast track and get you back on it super quick so you can start using that today if you'd like to. All right, you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you soon. Bye.